Hey kittens, it's Minunis here. Hope you're all doing well. We have this to tackle today. So just a couple of dolls and a lot of accessories. So yeah, I think we should <laughs> better get started. We have Monica. I want the second one because I want to throw up. And this is also Create a Monster Werewolf Girl. Um, my first one I had, her legs broke. So I got a second one. Vanilla's hat, and I kind of want to make Monica into a pirate. So I'm like, what if I get Vanilla at some point? I don't know. I mean, I don't have to repaint the hat, but I can always buy another hat. Anyway, let's get started. All right, welcome to the voiceover part of this video, guys. Hi, how are you doing, my lovely kittens? I hope you're all being well. So yeah, first, of course, the first task here was to sort everything. So all the tiny, tiny accessories, putting in, in the strainer. This is why I got the strainer. I made sure that the holes were small enough so nothing could pass through, not even like doll earrings, dog, and doll, dog, no, doll jewelry, anything like that. Like I needed it to be safe to, you know, use it as a drainer because it's a drainer. Is that what it's called? I think it's called that. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing here. And I put in the clothes underneath it, as you can see. And just doing the old stuff around. Yeah, I think just sorting the stuff, I think, took me like, um, I don't know, maybe 20 to 25 minutes. I did not realize it would take that long, but anyway. And uh, so, how are you? How are you guys? Hello, hi. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> yeah, I'm putting Monica in the sink. I did one make one mistake though when I was cleaning the dolls. And it was not <clears throat> coming out the hair or wig before I wet it. But you know, things worked out anyway, luckily. So I'm thankful for that. Um yeah, there was also some older toys and stuff. Like it's not just doll stuff, it's also just toys I need to clean. So you can see like one of the I don't know if you saw that but one of the one of the animations I had there. Yeah, and this was a bunch of like pony stuff and even like older pony stuff from the eighties. Yeah, I know. It's like forty year old things. <laughs> oh god. I feel old. That's okay. Also, I, the thing I did is also sorting up things that so if it has a sticker on it, I don't wash because I don't want to ruin the sticker. Maybe that's counterproductive. And what do you guys do if you have something you need to gonna clean up and has a sticker on it? Like, do you still clean it up, but just like by yourself and gently, or do you just leave it as it is? I guess it also depends on how dirty it is, or if it's stained, or I hope it's smelly. Any hoot. Here we go with the jollies, giving them their bath, putting some soap in uh, in the bowl. And I have troubles with soap dispenser. He didn't want to cooperate with me. He did not want to um, put that in the soap, so I had to fix that up. Yes, as you can see. Also cleaning up the air because it was dusty. Yeah, of course, werewolf girl was the easiest one to fix because, you know, no hair, just the body. Here I'm this is like a rarity hair clip I found from McDonald's, so I just washed that. Here I'm starting with the Werewolf Girls wig, and it took me some time. And there was a lot of hair that um, was eventually, you know, loosened and wasted. I don't know how you want to call it, but yeah. Um, so, yeah. And here I'm conditioning it. Sorry. Just making sure all the strands get conditioned. You can see me flushing down some hair in the sink, and I shouldn't do that, but yeah. There's like those wrong hairs just coming loose, and I was like, mm, well, what do I do with them? Do I just, you know, let them go? Yeah. Same here with Momolika's hair. This, this, hair, this side, the blah, 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 I can't speak. The right side of her hair gave me some troubles because she had like a big knot underneath all her hair, so I fixed that out here. And if you want to know what combs I'm using, I will link them below. They are uh, like an basically like a what's it called, like a hairdresser's kit combs, so they're good and static plastic treatment. And yes, I went and got a chair because my back was hurting. 
I am old, okay. Now, here we go, conditioning Monica's hair. Making it all soft. Yes, put some more condition. I think I need to just buy, like, a big pump bottle, like the one I was using here, to just use on my dolls. Because <laughs> both conditioners I've used now in this video and the previous one, uh, they're almost out. So I'm like, I need to buy, like, one dedicated bottle for my dolls. I don't really use conditioner myself. Sometimes I do it because I have dyed hair, obviously. You can see talking talking to myself and I'm singing a bit. So there we go, washing up the combs. Now let's do the clothes. Wah, wah, wah. Soap, washy washy, you know the drill, I think you know. <laughs> I, used, I used just hot tap water and soap. That's how I wash my doll clothes. I don't know if it's good or bad, but <laughs> I guess you can decide. And here I'm just rinsing them out, hanging them on the edge of the sink so I can take them with me over to the radiator. Heck yes. And there was two hair ties in there, I just put them around the, the faucet. Go, going off to the thingy. The radiator. And then the... Yeah, I just washed out the bottom of this because there was still soap in it. Uh, and then rinse this out, put soap on. Wash things. Trying to fill up the sink. Make sure nothing gets in that hole there. <laughs> and then just letting it sit for a bit. Checking on the other things. Then starting to rinse it and make sure the things are turned around so that there's no water collecting in them. Like these little pony shoes. The white ones you can see me putting there in the little pony cart, I guess we'll call the cart. Then I put them like that in the shower so they could drain. Yeah. And here we go, I'm gonna comb out and uh, rinse out the conditioner. Make sure the wigs, the wig and the hair looks nice. Yeah, you can see like some parts of the hair is cool. Bye, down the drain. <laughs> I mean... As long as I don't rip the whole thing apart, it's good, right? And I hang it to dry on the conditioner bottle. Here we got Monica's hair. Her hair definitely took me a bit longer because I had to redo some of the knots again. But yeah, you can see how much smoother her hair is now. It's just so nice. And she's finished. And I'm going to put her away now. And so, look at the world, girl. Okay, so we have the wig here. It looks like it's a beak or something, but I hope it will... Um, dry properly. Need to trim it out more as well. You can see that now. And we have Monica hanging up here as well as the werewolf girl. The accessories and stuff are in here drying. And finally we have all the clothes up here. There wasn't that many clothes this time around. So yeah, I will see you in the next clip once we have everything assembled together. Let's go. Alrighty. Well, they are finished. So, first we have the werewolf girl here. As you can see, her wig is very soft now. I did manage to get out all the knots, especially the ones she had like... Now she's falling over. Because these stands are not that good for them so high because they're too big. And <laughs> she's like, help. But yeah, I managed to get the knots and stuff out that were in her wig. 
I had the ears already, so I put them on and then I gave her back the dress, gave her the shoes and the bracelet and the bag, and she's done. So now she's going on <clears throat> display. If I can find some space in the shelf, otherwise we'll see. And then we have Monica, which I turned into a pirate, like I said. Um, the boots are actually Ceres Hood Comic Con exclusive boots. Um, I've had these for the longest time. I bought them maybe in 20... I don't know, 2018, 2017. Maybe even earlier than that. From... You know when people used to sell these on... Like... I guess it's Wish or eBay, I can't remember. But they used to sell like Monster High after high boots, just like in lots and stuff. And this is the ones that goes to this Comic Con Slow Series hood. And I went for like a priority kind of modern mix vibe, I don't know. Uh, we have the um, gorgeous accessories um, Rebecca skirt, we have Skeletas underdress. You would call it maybe this golden and silver bracelet, honey swamps, gorgeous accessories bag because it's such a cute baggy. The jacket is Picture Day Abbey. This I think is from I Heart Fashion Iris Clubs. The earrings are from Spectra. And then finally, we have Vandala's hat because I wanted something blue to tie them together. It looks more blue on camera, it's more teal in real life. But this is more teal, this just looks blue on the camera. It's weird to see. But yeah, for her hair I also managed to get all the knots out. It looks very nice. I have conditioned both of them. And yeah, now it's completely smooth, so, that smooth all the way through. I think she might be a little cut, it doesn't matter. I can I can live with that. But I also didn't realize she's super wonky. Uh, her right eye is so much bigger than the left one. Like I compared her to my other Monica over there. And I was like, oh, this this like this eye is really big. Should I put an eye patch over it or should I put an eye patch over the other one? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below of it. But those are the transformation of this time. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you like content like this, don't forget to check out the rest of my channel, hit the subscribe button, and pop the bell notification on. Also, don't forget to sacrifice comment to the Hungry Hungry algorithm. And I will see you in my next video. Stay creative. Bye bye.